so you took in a lot of water. Where was it coming from? It was coming up from the uh, floor drains here. We've got one right here in the uh, corner. Yes. So this was not groundwater seeping in or coming through the doors and windows. This was actually backing up from your sewer yes, system. Yes, with a mighty force. It knocked the shelf right out of its uh, wow. slat there. So how much water came in the basement? Uh, after it all receded and I measured, it was 42 inches. You know, the frustrating thing, Kevin, is that I thought I had a system in place to prevent all of this. And obviously it failed. It sure so did. So we have called in a local expert to tell us what happened with that system and what the solution is. Dennis, how are hey, you? Kevin, good. And yourself? So what are we looking at here? We've got a giant pit here in the front yard. What is this? What is known in the industry as a backwater valve flood control. And what am I looking at? Well, it, it consists of two systems. This first system is a check valve in line with the sewer line. So a check valve, it's basically a one-way door. In this case, it's open to allow sewage to flow from the house out to the street. But when the storm comes and builds up pressure, it basically closes that valve Correct. so that sewage can't get into the house. Correct. With the door closed or the check valve closed, how does the sewage get out of the house? Well, that's the second part of the system. There's a whole pumping system here that the house flows out of the sewer into an ejector basin in which a pump takes it, pumps it up and over the inline check valve, mm -hmm. and pushes it into the city sewer. Okay, so Janet ended up with 40 inches of sewage in your basement. Something happened. What went wrong? Basically, the system failed. What happened is that the check valve on the sewer line blew off. It allowed so much sewage to come in here, overwhelmed the pump, and it failed. Okay, and what's the solution? Replace the entire system. Sounds like a lot of work. We better get to it. So a lot of work, Dennis, but it looks like you guys are pretty much done with your excavation. Yes, we've taken out the walls, we've removed the floor, we moved the incoming water line. So that's the lead pipe that I'm seeing there, sort of in the half round fashion with the copper connection in the middle. That supplies water to the house? Correct. So that's out of the way, and now we've got really good exposure to the broken PVC check valve. Is that ready to come out? That's ready to come out. Let's pull it out and have a look at it. So here's the old PVC assembly. Do we know what failed? I can tell you exactly what failed. When the full vault of water receded, both the lid here and the check valve inside had blown off and were laying at opposite ends of the uh, empty vault. How does that happen? That just tells me that the pressure was so great that this lid blew off, and when that happened, that freed up this check valve because the only thing holding this valve on was the lid. And then when that happens, you have got a straight shot into Janet's basement, which gives us 40 inches of sewage. Yes. Okay, so that's no good. And this is what we are replacing it with, right? Yes, this is our double guard system. It consists of two check valves in series. Right along with the overflow. And it's not PVC. And it's full cast iron. And these are not screwed down. They're actually bolted in place. Correct. So that should hold up. And here's a little mock-up you've got of one right here. We can take this off. And we've got a cast iron housing. And then we have got ourselves a brass check valve in here. So under normal operation, sewage flows from the house past the check valve to the street during a storm brass check valve is shut, and none of this city sewage can get past it, or in this case, past two of these. Correct. All right, well, let's get this guy in. Now Albert's tightening up the connection on the rubber couplings. And now we're lowering down concrete to pack onto the front connection because that's taking the pressure from the city, and that's the most important joint. Pack it in concrete, make it nice and secure. Yes. And now we're adding aggregate to the concrete in order to strengthen the base around the valves. And now we add water. We're now adding sand to the base of our vault so we can start laying our curved block. With these curved blocks, we will rebuild the walls. All right, well, it's a big job, and I know we still have some more work to do, but Janet, you are in good hands with these guys. Dennis, thanks so much for helping us out. Thank you. Mm -hmm.